Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back to my lecture that uh, aspects of biochemical engineering. Now last uh, couple of lectures I try to concentrate on uh, cell growth kinetics uh, that uh, we discussed the cell growth kinetics both for the batch system and the continuous system. And when we discussed the chemostat process I told you that uh, we know the continuous start tank reactor. When continuous start tank reactor we use in the biological system. Uh, this is uh, we call it chemostat and major uh, major drawback of the chemostat process is the uh, 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 is the is the cell mass that is uh, going out of the system now if uh, if uh, the rate of cell mass that is going out of the reactor is more as compared to rate of uh, cell mass that is growing in the system then what will happen is situation will come when there will be uh, no cell present in the reactor. Now that situation we can uh, overcome by using two different approaches. One is called uh, cell mass recycling that uh, another we call immobilized whole cell. Now uh, uh, so today I shall concentrate on uh, that you know, how uh, with the help of uh, cell mass recycling how we can uh, we can uh, control the cell mass uh, waste in your wasting in your from the system or the, the wash out of the cells. Now, first uh, uh, the <coughs> that you know. Uh, let me explain this because because suppose this is uh, this is uh, CSTR and uh, this uh, continuously liquid is coming at a particular flow rate and going out at the particular flow rate. Now here x0 this is x and this is also x. Now what I want to point out that always you will be having cell wastage what is called f into x am I right. So if, if this is equal to uh, rate of growth of the cells inside the cell inside the reactor then it is fine because if it is the if it is uh, the growth is uh, say that you know that if uh, the rate of growth is uh, same as that then it is fine otherwise if it is more than that then the cell will be cell concentration will decrease with respect to time a time will come when there is no cell present in the reactor now another another explanation to this process i explained that is the generation time because 1 by d is considered as the hydraulic retention time now how, what is hydraulic retention time means how long you allow a particular liquid resides in the reactor. Now if your generation time is, uh, is uh, more than that hydraulic retention time then what will happen that your, your liquid will get less time. Uh, so, uh, so naturally your cells will not grow inside the reactor and before it grows you are taking out the liquid from the reactor that is why we face the situation what we call cell washout. Washout means after some time you will find there is no cell present inside the reactor this is the major drawback of the of the chemostat process. Now this can be overcome how you can overcome this can be overcome suppose the whatever excess uh, cell mass is going uh, so if you put a separator here and we, we can a part of the cell you are recycling back to the system to maintain the cell mass concentration uniform then and all then your rate of reaction will be constant then there will not be any problem of cell washout. So this uh, this uh, uh, so we are we are we will discuss here the chemostat with cell mass recycling. The chemostat uh, recycling is performed to keep the cell higher than the normal steady state uh, level in the chemostat. So, so we we recycle in a manner so that the cell mass concentration remain constant higher than that so that we ensure that you know your rate of reaction is constant or you know more than that we have with the, uh, we desire. That is cell recycling increases with the rate of conversion 
and uh, obviously that uh, and increases uh, increases the critical dilution rate for wash out there but increases the operating flexibility and can be performed uh, using the centrifuge or settling tank or to concentrate biomass leaving the reactor so <clears throat> if we if we if we see that you know that uh, CSTR or the cell mass recycling system it uh, basically it looks like this so this is rotation this is like this so here we can we can have the settler and this is going out a part of the things you recycle back and part you so here what do you call cell recycling this is recycling and this is called cell wasting this is called cell wasting and this is actually the effluent there is a clear liquid effluent this is the feed we have. Now, suppose this is the, this is the settle cell mass concentration is x u, and this is x. So, when you settle, obviously the cell mass concentration will be more here, and this is the settle cell mass concentration. And let us assume the uh, the recycle flow rate is uh, is f r, and this is f zero. Okay, and then uh, then what will be here flow rate? F0 plus FR. Am I right? So, so what is the cell that is going out, going in? This, if we assume this is X0, so we can write F0 into X0 plus this is recycling. This is also XU. This is plus FR into XU. This is equal to what? If we X, then then uh, plus uh, there will be some production generation. This is plus the rate of growth of the cells inside the system. This is into V. This will be equal to FR, F0 plus FR into XU, X. We can write like this. So, this is uh, this is by main purpose of recycling. We want to maintain this cell mass concentration uniform or above the you know certain concentration what we uh, we, we really looking for. Now, now this is the this is the process. Uh, how it can be explained uh, in pictorially like this. So here, as I told you, this is the this is the this is the process. This is CSTR. We have continuous start tank reactor or chemostat, and this is the influent, and this is the uh, this is the what is going out, and this is the separator cell separator concentrated of the cells is there. A part you recycle back. This is the recycle flow rate. This is the settle cell. This is waste recycle flow rate. Yes, yes. So we assume here when we carry out, we assume the reaction only take place in the reactor. Reaction doesn't take place in the separator of the pipeline. That is, then we we can we can write the balance equation. So here all the all the parameters are noted here that you know how. Uh, but these are different different uh, f0 uh, s0 and x0 and all the parameter for their stands for now here can uh, uh, question comes how you can write the balance equation let us first consider the cell mass balance across the chemostat how you can write i told you what is the in input input equal to F0 into X0, FR into XU. This is FR into XU and this is the input to the cell. And what is the generation that we have? This is the generation V into dx by dt. And what is the output? This is the output. Am I right? F, um, FA, FA is the what? FA is equal to F0 plus FR. So, this is into X. And plus accumulation under steady state condition. So, if we, since we mentioned the steady state condition, we can assume the rate of accumulation is the 0 and also we can assume that there is no cell death take place. Then what we can write that alpha equal to F r by F 0 and alpha is considered as a recycle ratio. Alpha is considered as a recycle ratio. So, what is the F r is equal to what? Alpha into F 0. Now, F a equal to F 0 plus F r. Am I right? Then, then F0 plus alpha into F0, FR equal to. 
So, I can call day common f 0, I can write 1 my plus alpha, this is exactly what is written here. Now, this equation can be modified in this form that this is the same so we have the f 0 into x 0, f r is equal to alpha into f 0 into x u and this is like this f 0, this we can modify at f 0 into 1 minus 1 plus alpha into x. Then, uh, then what we can write that uh, we can write now previous equation was like this and then we can write this is alpha into f 0, this is what we have alpha into f 0 and v into f 0 and uh, because we considered x 0 equal to 0. So, first term we can add that you can neglect and that is equal to this and this equation I can write now we can divide by v both side and if you divide by f 0 by v equal to what dilution rate. So, this we can modify it in this form. Now, uh, and that uh, now we can assume c equal to x u by uh, c if you write c equal to x u by x. Now, x x u what settles cell mass concentration am I right? and x is the cell mass concentration under in the reactor under strain. So, x u is usually much higher than x. So, I can always say that c is uh, c is sorry I can write c always much greater than 1 am I right. So, this is like this c equal to the concentration ratio of that. Now, we can write x u equal to c into x. Now, this we can write in this form, this x u value we can put c into x. So, this equation can be modified as like this. Now, what is the what is the significance of this equation? Let us try to find out. Now, here uh, uh, that uh, I can write mu by d is equal to 1 plus alpha 1 minus c. Okay. Now, what is 1? What is alpha? Alpha is the recycle ratio. This alpha equal to what? F r, F r recycle flow rate by F 0 and this usually less than 1 because the in a usually the recycle ratio always should be less than 1. So, let us assume it is 50 percent 0.5. Let us assume that and uh, 1 minus and I told you C always should be greater than 1. So, if we assume this is uh, Mm, uh, 2 or you know 2.5, let us assume that. Then what will happen that 1 plus 0.5 into this will be 1 minus 1.5. 1 1.5 1 is how much? This will be out of 1 minus 0.75. Am I right? So, this will be 0.25. Now, if it is 0.25, so what I can write the mu by d equal to 0.25. So, that means that uh, in the in the in a in a CSTR under steady state condition and still mu equal to d and uh, but here is mu equal to 0.5 that means if, uh, uh, you can if your d by mu is the how much it is 1 by 2.5 that means this is 4 that means that you know that uh, that I can write mu equal to uh, or you know I can write d equal to 4 mu. So, so I can run this if you do the recycling I can run 4 times of the this uh, uh, that specific growth of the cells. So, this is the this is the uh, uh, this is the speciality of the recycling of the cells. If you recycling of the cells how you can justify that uh, we can operate the same uh, system uh, safely. Now, we have already seen that when you plot that you know x d versus d that uh, what we have done we have plot like this am I right and this is the situation that we have used this is called d wash out wash out and at the same time we find that uh, here we this is what this is called d max. Now, suppose in case of Bickers's fermentation process, we wanted to have maximum amount of cell mass formation. So, what is the maximum cell productivity? 
maximum cell productivity is how much productivity is equal to d max into x. At the d max, what is the x value? That is the maximum. Now, as I told you that d max and d washout, these two, they are very close to each other. So, the, 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 if you increase a little bit the flow rate, because d equal to what? a by b. Now, if you increase the flow rate little bit high, there is every possibility that d max can meet the d washout situation. Then, you will not get any cell mass in the reactor. Now, this system can be safely operated if you recycle the cell. So, even it is increased little bit, it is not going to affect in your system at all. So, this is this is how we can safeguard the cell washout by recycling of the cells. Then uh, we try to find out that you know that uh, steady state substrate mass balance across the chemostat. We can write F0, this is F0 into S0, Fr into S because we assume here this will be S. So, F r into s, here also it will be s, here also everywhere it will be s. And this is equal to F into and no generation of the cells, so that will be substrate, this will be 0. This is F a into s plus uh, that you know rate of substrate that is degraded consumption in the system and rate of equilibration that should, uh, should be equal to 0. Now, if you do the analysis of the process like this, we will come across this equation d s 0 minus s equal to 1 by x into mu x. So, x will be equal to what d s 0 s mu y x by s. This is cell mass concentration <coughs> we can easily determine like this. Now, mu that x equal to this uh, this we, we can we, we you see that we, we, we wrote like this and, and before that we have derived this equation mu equal to d into 1 minus alpha in, into 1 minus c. Am I right? So, this I can I can put it here and final equation will be this. And the, thus the biomass increase by a factor of this uh, as compared to the chemostat without recycling. So, this is the this is the uh, comparison that uh, we have made and then substrate uh, concent uh, concentration can be obtained by applying monode kinetics is like this. This is the equation that we have and um, this already we find this is equal to mu and monode equation is this and then we, we find out the S value, S value will be this and Y value that X value will be what? Y X by S into S0 minus S. So, if you put the S value here, then you can calculate the value of X. For so, both S and X value you can calculate with this uh, with the recycling system. Now, if you if you now you plot uh, this uh, uh, dilution rate with the biomass concentration and the um, and the uh, then what will observe what will get and the rate of biomass formation both if you if you if you if you get here then you will find that uh, this is the this is the x uh, this is the two situation we have r1 and r2 am i right what is r1 r1 is the cell mass output per volume without recycling and r2 is the with the recycling so uh, with recycling your the cell mass concentration will be like this and you can see that your the washout, D washout is uh, much higher as compared to uh, without recycling. Without recycling, it may be close to 1 and it is about 2. And R also, R1, that is uh, uh, R, that uh, cell mass output power without recycling that has been given here. This is two situation that we have rate of cell mass formation. Uh, in case of uh, without recycling rate of cell mass formation in case of with recycling this uh, the with recycling our cell mass uh, growth is uh, increased to a great extent now uh, that you know after uh, here i want to point out one thing that uh, um, 
One thing I point out <clears throat> that you know we we have seen the batch process. Am I right? Batch process. That uh, batch process is like this. So, so we take the material at a time, allow it to react. After the re reaction is over, you take it out. Now here, with respect to time, you can have the cell mass concentration. So then we can monitor dx by dt. Am I right? So, how we can monitor dx by dt? I told you dx by dt equal to x n plus 1 minus x n minus 1 divided by 2 del t. Am I right? Now, if it is like this, now if you plot x dx by dt versus x, what kind of nature of plot we will get like this. Now, what is the slope? This slope, this is 0. Am I right? So, slope is uh, the tan theta, tan theta is the uh, altitude by base, am I right? So, it is dx by dt by 1 by x, this is equal to slope, this angle is like this. So, this is nothing but equal to mu and this mu under steady state condition and sterile fit in case of uh, chemostat, this is equal to d. So, so the batch data that uh, can be possible from the batch data, it is possible to find out that what will be the uh, cell mass concentration in a chemostat at a particular dilution rate, provided you have the plot of dx versus x. Now, he, if, you, if you have this dilution rate, then you can find out the uh, corresponding the cell mass concentration. Now, if you have this much dilution rate, you can find the corresponding. So, Without 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 going uh, going for this uh, operation of the continuous process, it is possible uh, by simple operation of the batch process is possible to find out the uh, find out the uh, the what should be the cell mass concentration in a in a chemostat. Now uh, let me let me explain that how we can. Uh, uh, analyze the plug flow reactor. It is similar to the plug flow reactor when we discuss during the enzymatic reaction. The analysis of the plug flow reactor per culture flow follows the same procedure as the enzymatic reaction. The material balance in the section is like this. So, I told you this is kind of tubular flow and plug flow is kind of piston flow. So, now, here this, uh, this equation is like this that uh, if the f is the flow rate and x is the z here x 0 into z so this is z and this is the x, this is the this is the x z plus x so but this is the input and then rate of growth of the cells this is the generation of the cells and then output and uh, we can assume the consumption and this uh, we under steady state condition this is equal to 0 then we can write this equation in this form this is f into x z plus del z x 0 into z and this equal to this is the f divided by a is the cross sectional area. If you divide by this, you will get the velocity. Velocity is that into this equal to you now if z equal to tends to 0, then what we can write? This is equal to uh, we can write that dx by dz u into dx by dz equal to mu into x. Now, if you, if you if you do the integration that you know that uh, u this is u is the velocity and dx by x u will to dz. So, so, this is this is the reactor that we have we have a strip here. So, this is dz am I right this is the this is the length is dz. Now, we integrate it from 0 to uh, 0 to l this is the l. So, if you integrate that, then we will find L by u, you can bring it here and this is x, x 0, they have started with x 0 and finished with x, that is the cell mass concentration. Then we can, we can have this, this is L by uh, u, then uh, this is, uh, this is the equation has and, and uh, L is the what, L by u, L, what is the unit, is the length, am I right, length and what is the velocity, the unit of u? length per unit time. So, you know length length will cancel, the time will come. So, L by u is nothing but tau, 
Am I right? So, this is we can replace the ln x by x 0 equal to tau. So, we can write the tau that is the space time of the plug flow reactor is 1 by mu ln x by x 0. The, so, this is, uh, this is the same as the expression if you compare with the batch process the tau plug flow reactor is equal to tau batch, uh, the batch process the same expression that we have. The drawbacks of the, uh, of the plug flow reactor is not suitable for the growth in suspension because I told you that in the plug flow reactor there is no back mixing. So, if there is a suspended cell there is every possibility it will settle down then it is not suitable and can be used uh, recycle or immobilize cell reaction. So, suppose in a column if you pack uh, they pack the cells uh, in a immobilized column and you pass the substrate here take out that is a, uh, that you know that, that that kind of system we can operate in the plug flow manner. However, the inherent operational problem cannot be avoided because inherent proper what is the operation problem there should not be any uh, the, that you know back mixing. The difficult to control the temperature and composition variation because because if you if you if you hear the suppose in this reactor if you if you may make a concentration profile with respect to distance that is 0 then what will with respect to distance at different different di distance your substrate concentration will be different. The, the, so, uh, difficult to control the temperature reason is that there is no hesitation to master it, heat transfer will not be proper and composition variations of the I showed you how the composition variations is there. Plug flow maintenance is also more expensive and rarely employed for the industrial purpose. So, this is uh, this is what we have that plug flow reactor is rarely used. Now, comparison between the major mode of cultivation uh, what I lastly pointed out the kinetic characteristics of plug flow reactor same as batch process large number of CSTR connected in series uh, conversion characteristics approaches to the, those of uh, plug flow reactor I showed you that when you plot minus RA, RA versus CA in the chemical reaction I showed you if you have this in case of product you know, this is this is in case of product inhibition we go for this is tau plug flow reactor am I right. Now, this is this can be but in case of CSTR it will be area with more, but this can be replaced by uh, multiple CSTR like this. So, you have multiple CSTR this can be number large number of CSTR connected in series the conversion characteristic approaches of the batch and plug flow reactor. The rate of conversion of chemostate operation D max in 10 to 20 times greater than plug flow reactor and or batch process. For the most fermentation the CSTR offers significant theoretical advantage over the other nodes of reactor operation with, the, with they can be very easily operated a simple start tank reactor you pass your substrate one and take out product other end. However, despite the benefit of CSTR majority of the commercial fermentation is conducted in the batch mode because the always continuous process requires some kind of skill of operation and batch fermentation is lower risk of contamination as compared to CSTR. This we already pointed out that CSTR when you operate for long time there will be some kind of contamination problem and whereas in case of batch system the contamination problem comparatively will be very less. Equipment and control failure during the long term operations are associated with the problem with the CSTR. So, and this is uh, this is uh, basically the instrumental controls. So, if then any kind of instrumentation failure is there then the process is going to suffer. So, these are the several problems we face uh, during the operation of CSTR. So, um, what I try to point out here that uh, the major problem that we have with the chemostat process is the cell mass wasting from the reactor and that can be uh, and meeting the situation like cell washout and that is that problem can be easily overcome if you recycle the cell in the solid matrix and uh, is recycle the cell in the particular reactor and, uh, and, and later on we find that how we can determine the space time that is required in the plug flow reactor and, and finally, I we make a 
clear cut there is a difference between the chemostat and the plaque pro reactor of the batch process and what I pointed out that batch process contamination problem will be less but uh, uh, but uh, you know productivity will be more in the in case of CSTR and plaque pro reactor will be very difficult to operate. Thank you very much.